Hello, hello everyone. So before I get into making things, I wanted to film this sort of haul video, because it is a haul. Um, but yeah, this brand is new to me. I think it's been around for some time. I just, I spotted it at Simon Says Stamp and I saw these products and I couldn't resist. <laughs> so I ordered pretty much everything. Yeah, and just thought when it got here, I was like, oh, wanted to kind of show it all before I actually start like opening everything. So this is, the brand is Studio Light. I'll, I will have links to everything. And what really got me were all of these, they're just called Missies. And there's stamps and wafer dies and just sentiments. There's all of it. I love it. Absolutely love it. So we have wafer die sets. So you have your main one. And I guess this is just called Betty. It just has basics. So you have your like outline. And then there's different like hair and embellishments that and like coordinating dies because there is also a little stamp set and like little like a little necklace and facial features and that sort of a thing little hair clips so cute what i loved about this that really got me though was the size like this is and of course do i have an a2 piece of cardstock let's see if i can oh this might work here we go here's an a2 Here's an A2 card base. That's the main wafer die. Like, it's big. So that's also what kind of caught my eye. I was like, oh, I like the size of these. They're different. So there's the main one. I even have like, you know, do a button-up shirt. So you can make all these different characters. Love. Then there's add-ons, you know. So there's this set that is, um, it just says Tasha on it with different hairstyles. Again, little little puppy dog and kitty cat, bows, different facial features again, all that kind of thing, a hand. So then you can have it like that. Like, aren't these fun? Little cat ears. I also got, because I, yeah, I think my oldest kids will be quite intrigued by this. And then we have this set that says Carol. So then we have, again, different facial features. These have a little bit of like florals and whatnot. There's glasses. Um, we have curly hair. So you can do like long curly hair, little buns. I would assume you could use that as either like an afro and also you can use, well, any of them. You can have them just from the back rather than doing it from the front. You have the hairs if they're facing away, you know? Like love the options. There's earrings earrings, all that fun stuff. Like so many options with everything. Love. So there's the wafer die sets and then there's also stamp sets just with more options. So we've got all sorts of um, options, just options. It's like different hairstyles, like there's a bun, there's this really fun like necklace glasses again, earrings, different facial, like different mouth features, eye features, like kind of a uh, scarf sort of a style. You know what I mean? So aren't these fun? These are just so fun. I love it. So we have those. There were sentiment sets. I really like the font sentiment sets. And then we have two little characters. So these are kind of like standalone. Of course, I got them to go with everything. So yeah, you've got little characters that you can dress up with the different, there's different mouth options, a different like top option, etc. And then just little sentiments. And then same with this one. So I just, I just think these are so fun. And then I got this one too. This is like kind of standalone-ish from all the those other things, but I just, I thought this was really cute. <laughs> Plus I liked, I was like, you have a ton of little wafer dies, like, pack into this so I like the little because I was like oh the speech bowl would look work really well with some of these all of it I like the hearts love so there's those there was also these I think these are rub-ons yeah these are rub-ons which I've I haven't used rub-ons in forever but I couldn't resist they were super cute you had a whole 
package of rub-ons. It's so got these ones, and then you've got these ones. When the life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Like, aren't these cute? Ugh. So there's rub-ons. There's pattern paper, which of course I couldn't resist. So the pattern paper. I just thought these would look really cute as like backgrounds. You could also use the, some of the die cuts for their clothing and the hair options, like the like hair ribbons and all those sorts of things. So yeah, really cute paper. Um, these ones really got me. They are paper elements. So they all punch out and some of they're foiled. Foiled, hello. So these would be cute little like you could just build cards with these even. Some of these would be great, um, like as gifts, you know, to people like, you know, stuff like, again, my older girls, they would love like stuff like this where you don't need, you know, die cuts and stamps and all that stuff. It's like, you can pop these out and then, you know, some pattern paper, etc. So yeah, love, love. Love. And then there's like these planar ones so you can leave them as is or you could color them. I just think these are so fun. So fun. So there's that one. Then there was this one, which is a similar idea. Just different little things. You could use them for scrapbooking if you're into that. You know, all that kind of stuff. Like... So many things, so many options. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Little characters, they're so cute. I just think these are absolutely adorable. So yeah, those are really fun. And then this one was mixed paper pad. So there's like vellum with foil. And then we've got pattern paper. Like it just kind of alternates between pattern paper and like foiled vellum. Probably should have ordered more than one of these because oh, they're fabulous. They're fabulous. <laughs> I love it. I love it. There's so many. And then, oh yeah, these kind of layer over some of the tags. Oh, these tags are vellum. So fun. So yeah, like I couldn't resist. Aren't these fun? Seriously. So, all kinds of just gorgeous things. Love it. So that pack, and then of course I couldn't resist. I was only gonna get one pack of the bling, and then I started looking at the other ones, and I was like, uh, I can't decide, so I got them all. <laughs> what I really loved about these though, was they have them in three sizes. So I got like the, the Goldie Goodness, and it's um, confetti in three sizes. So I have small, medium, and large, and that to me is like key. Cause I like having that, it just looks better when you're adhering stuff like this. So you got small, medium, large, and then there's the peachy pieces, which are kind of like iridescent. Same idea, large, medium, small. This one, minty moments same thing and then this one is like a mix this is just says sparkly sprinkles so there's like a shimmery confetti mix really large flat circular confetti so get this out of here these ones are huge like huge huge oh fun oh you could string those they all have holes in them you could string them and do like a little band oh, that would be really cute so many ideas. So yeah, you get a ton of, you know, embellishments in a pack. And then last but not least, I got the washi tape as well. It just, everything was coordinating and matchy matchy and like I couldn't resist and I had to order all of it. I loved it. So yeah, this one's got the, like the sweet treats. I like that there's different sizes. You have this big wide one with all the images. There's a narrow little turquoise. This one's got little like hashtag sweet, cute, pretty little hearts and then stripes. I like that there's different sizes. I think that's really cute. So there's that pack and then finally there was this pack that has the girls on all of it. There's all different sorts of versions of them. I love that, love it. And then 
three different kinds of washi tape. So yeah, love, love. Now, I, and okay, so as always, there'll be links below. <laughs> there'll be links below. I'm gonna get to making some cards and then yeah, we'll just, we'll just go from there. Yeah. <laughs> I had a lot of fun, honestly. First tip of, you know, first little bit of advice. I was using just these lids I had for some of the baskets I use for storage and I don't use the lids, but I kept them because they're flat. Very glad I did. Anything's gonna work. If you're gonna do multiples or you're die cutting a bunch of accessories, that sort of thing, like little trays, anything like that, kind of helps contain <laughs> the pieces. Me especially, I've always said like I have a really small office space. I had these like these lids just sitting on top of other random things, but at least keeping all of my die cuts contained, you know, so I wasn't losing them. And what I did was I die cut just a bunch of random neutral colors of cardstock. I'll link to a few. Honestly, I don't have links for all of them. Some of my cardstock is very old doesn't have labels, anything. I just grabbed just a variety of skin tones. And then after I did all this die cutting, I started thinking, I was like, oh, if you don't have a lot of color cardstock, because I know a lot of people don't, you know, you're just getting started, whatever. Another good option, die cut everything from either white cardstock, watercolor paper, and then you can color it whatever color you want, you know? You could do white cardstock and then you could use distress inks, you know, inks, that sort of a thing. And if you really wanted to get into it, because <laughs> again, my, I was driving myself crazy the last few days making this video, but I was like, oh man, you know, if you've got some skills, you've got some markers, you could start doing some like contouring, makeup, like, oh. I got these from white and then start using Copic markers and you could do like skin tones and highlights and contour, you know? <laughs> Or with watercolor, either or, you know, you really could go all out. But I kept, this is me keeping it simple <laughs> while my mind is going a million miles a minute. So anywho, I just grabbed all sorts of different shades and I just kept going and there was like more. And then I was like, ooh, I wonder if I've got any other, you know, shades. But I, I honestly, you guys, I, I ran out of time. <laughs> I put back on other projects because I was having so much fun. But I did simple. I just die cut from the different colors. And then I stamped the faces from the coordinating little stamps that come with those die sets. I just kind of just stamped several of them, you know, cause there's like the closed eye option. There's the, you know, partial eye open option. I don't know what you want to call them, but you know. And then what I did, I stamped the little lips. I only used a couple, there's other options though too, but I just kept, this is again, me keeping it simple. And I just stamped the lips. I did all the stamping with Versafine Claire Nocturne ink. Again, keeping it simple, but you could, the sky's the limit with all of this. And then the only other like extra little thing I did is I took my white gel pen and I like filled in the areas where the, you know, the, the eye area and the little highlights on the eyes. And then I added a little, little, little dots, you know, onto the lips to give them that little bit of highlight. You know, it just gives it that extra little something without being a whole lot of work. So I had done that all at once. I did, you know, all my die cutting at once. I did all my stamping at once did all the little gel pen highlights at once. And then I started making cards. <laughs> I ended up doing just slimline cards and keeping that, this is again, me keeping it simple, but to, you know, I was thinking like, oh, maybe I should start doing some five by seven cards. Cause like I said, these images are huge, which is so fun. But I just did one character per card front and did slimline. So I used a whole bunch of pattern papers from those packs that I showed earlier. And I used the pe papers for, you know, their clothing, for accessories, for backgrounds, like just, I went to town. And then I grabbed random cardstock from my stash in colors that kind of went with the pattern papers. So even though I ended up making six cards, I could have made more because I have enough like body pieces and I die cut more hair, all the things but I had to stop because I'm, I'm running out of time, but I'm keeping all the pieces. I had, you know, die cut stamped. I just put them in a, the same kind of storage pocket. I keep my stamps in and I'm just going to keep it all together for the next time I get some, you know, free time like that exists with five kids. But next time, 
because like these I kept like I said I used the pattern paper so I kept to a you know the same color combo for everything but again my mind was just going I was like oh you know how fun these would be to make little characters like to, to specifically look like someone like with these I wasn't making any of them look like anyone specific I was just die cutting and pairing things together and just having fun with it but then like as I'm doing this I'm like oh you know how fun this would be to like do you know a friend you've got the way they look so die cut and color it and you know the hair everything do it like that person and make a bunch of cards that look like that person and then you do that up as a gift set that they could give to people you know hey thinking of you you know I just I thought that would be really cute or like your kids etc that's also where the markers and the watercoloring could get into um could come into play because you know you could add birthmarks and and different facial features and all those different things that make everyone unique again my mind is going a million miles a minute I have had so much fun I'm so glad I bought all this stuff <laughs> And I really do hope in the near future I'll get some time to sit down because like I just I have just a pile of all these pieces that I die cut for hair and skin and all of it and I just think it, it I had literally so much fun. So again all these characters I just kind of like started with the one and then just kept going. So I in while I was keeping to the same color combo I did have some fun with like the hair like I did pink hair on this one. I'm going to do some blue hair because why not? Because again, the sky is the limit. And that's also where my mind was going a million miles away. Because I'm like, some people do some really crazy things with their hair. That's really fun. Oh, like dip dyeing and all. <laughs> Told you guys, this just made my day making, well, several days. This was several days of creating and filming and editing and all this stuff. And I, I hope you guys enjoy like watching this. Um, as far as like actually putting them together, it's pretty straightforward. You can kind of do whatever you want. Like the actual base of the body is just the like simple body shape and the neck. And then there's the piece for the head. And then you can do whatever you want when it comes to the hair. There's between those three die sets, there's so many options. And then if you want to get really creative, you could start hand cutting different things. Um, and then there's this arm option in the one die set and I die cut a bunch of those too. And when I started adding that, I really liked that because I was like, oh, this is so cute. You know, waving hello, which is kind of what I was going for, but there's actual in the set that this like arm and hand wafer dies in, there's a little die, little tiny die. And at first I wasn't sure what it was, but it's fingernails. So you could give, you could like dress this up give them you know pretty color fingernails you could add and then I was like oh an engagement announcement you could add like a little ring so many ideas <laughs> there's stamps too the one little stamp set with that set also has these little tiny kind of oval-ish stamps same thing so if you didn't want to die cut you could just stamp fingernails depending on how you want the hand to look whether it's you know the palms facing your character or the palms facing out with these, I have it set. So like the idea of like you're waving hello. So palm facing out. So I didn't bother with fingernails. Although again, if you're giving it to somebody that you know and they've got the long zhuzhi fingernails, I, I love it. Love these sets, having fun, do what you want with it. I'm kind of curious now that like these are in the Simon Says Stamp store and more people getting like since I posted sneak peeks online, uh, people have been messaging me saying like they've ordered them. I can't wait to see what everyone does because this is just, it's very different from, you know, a lot of the other stuff we have. I still love all my other stamps. My next video is going to be, you know, probably big florals or something. But these are a lot of fun. And I'm really hoping that we get more companion sets, like more coordinating sets, more more accessories, more accessories, you know, the bling, all that. I, that too, I had so much fun with. I die cut the bling from um, just some gold foil cardstock. And again, kept it simple. I either did gold or black, that was it. Uh, Cause I was just massively overwhelming myself with it all. But now that these are done and I'm like in editing mode, I was like, oh, all my metallic cardstocks that I've hoarded, you know, from Tonic. I'm like, you could do some like die cut, all like all the colors of the rainbow for the bling. You could just, there's so many options. <laughs> like I barely touched on how many ways you can put these together because I only used even just then I only used some of the wafer dies in these sets to create these cards. So 
I just kept going along. I used a couple of different slimline dyes. I was using Waffle Flowers slimline, um, slim layers they're called, wafer dye set that I die cut the pattern paper and I die cut, you know, coordinating cardstock to frame it. These will go on card bases. I'll get to the card bases after I'm done, you know, assembling all of my little characters. Like I said, I just kind of went through and would just use a random background and then just kind of build a character. Just grabbed a different um, skin tone, some hair, some accessories, that sort of thing, and then just went from there. The main set, the, the Betty set that has like the body shape also has a few random, you can kind of see one there, it's sitting on top of that, the hand wafer die and the uh, bow there in the lower right corner. It's just like a, just a curve. And there's a few of those. There's like a little curve, a little wave, and then some necklines and different things. And you can use those, you die cut with the base of the body, pattern paper, cardstock, whatever you want. And then you can use those dies to create all the different necklines, the different tops to whatever outfit you want to put your little character in. Again, sky's the limit. Like so many things you could do with this. I stuck to just the pattern papers and then just some coordinating cardstock for my stash. And then um, a couple of them, I die cut that little, there's that little puppy dog and the little cat uh, wafer die in one of the sets. So I die cut those just to add to their shirts on a couple of them, just cause. The glasses, I love, that's enough, like an accessory set. I would love another like just full on accessories, like different glasses, shapes, bling, jewelry, all those things. I think it'd be so much fun. <laughs> Because, yeah, I really liked adding the glasses, you know, it just completely changed it up. But then I'm like, ooh, different shapes would be so much fun. The glasses, too, you could just make them sunglasses. Right? Like, instead of popping all those center pieces, die cut them from some holographic cardstock. Pop those into place. You've got some sun... Ugh. Seriously, hats. Hats would be cool, too. Okay. You guys get what I mean. I'm just, like, losing my mind. I'm not even talking about what I'm doing. But, yeah. I just use craft tacky glue to adhere everything. These were really simple to adhere for the little tiny pieces like the ears. I didn't adhere the ears to all of the characters, just to some of them. It just kind of depended on what I was going for. Um, my little reverse tweezers really helped with some of those tinier pieces. Like the main images are all I w I'll call normal size. You know, they're not too finicky. It's when you get into the little tinier, you know, the accessories and the ears and those sorts of things where it starts getting all smaller. But even then, everything just kind of comes together. It's not too difficult. And once you start, it's another one of those things. Once you do one, like after you adhere and like assemble like one character, it, it just goes from there, you know? And then you start seeing what you can do and get creative with it and start die cutting things and cutting things up. And it just like, I didn't realize until I did like half of them that the, the little set of wafer dies were straps for, you know, like a tank top strap. Once I realized that I was like, great. So then my character started getting tank top straps. <laughs> so again, sky's the limit. And then like mixing and matching so many of these different hairstyles. And that was a lot of fun too. And again, I just did solid cardstock, but if you want to get creative and start using like markers and watercolors and, you know, different coloring techniques, you can add, you know, texture and highlights and all that kind of stuff. Like so many options. I think these are so much fun. I'm yeah, zero regrets <laughs> on getting all of this stuff. This was definitely some of the most fun ever creating all this. And I made a huge mess on top of it. Oy. So yeah. I just kept going along and I would do, you know, one card front at a time, just base cardstock, uh, pattern paper for the second layer, and then my character, and then all of the little random accessories. The accessories, I think, were like super fun. And again, I only did the golden block. I didn't do anything else and it was just enough for me. And then once I had all my card fronts done, my card bases, I just used white cardstock. I cut it all down to seven inches by eight and a half. And then I'm gonna score these at three and a half. So these will all be three and a half inch by eight and a half inch slimline cards, which is like the perfect size for an individual character in my mind. Um, if you're gonna do two, you could fit them on an A2 card front if you did it in landscape orientation. 
but again you could also go easily go bigger i know a lot of people like the five by seven size it's just not a size i do very often i don't know why so anywho i made all my card bases and then i had forgot to hit like the actual button to film on the camera but all i did was i took another one of the leftover pieces of white cardstock and i stamped one of the sentiments from those stamp sets and I just stamped it with clear embossing ink multiple times onto the cardstock and then coated it with gold embossing powder. Melted that with my heat tool. And then I'm going to use that little tag wafer die set that I had showed at the beginning. It had a little speech bubble. So I used that to die cut that hello word. And again, I did this six times. I, I'm not kidding. Like this, I kept it simple. Like I wasn't going to mix a bunch of different sentiments. It was so much easier to just keep them kind of generic. So all the cards just say, um, hello, how are you on the front? And then I had heat embossed the love you sentiment from the other set onto more white cardstock and die cut it just with one of the like pendant dies from that wafer die set. So then the inside of the cards will just say love you. And I used the same pattern paper that I used on the front of the cards. I die cut with one of the other pendant dies and then added that, added the love you sentiment and then there's like a bunch of heart wafer dies in there too. And I just die cut one of the darker pink cardstocks I had sitting and added those. That way the insides were all finished. They got some pattern paper and the sentiment like I love. And then of course I blinged out all of these. I didn't need to. You could totally skip this step, but you guys know me in the bling. And I bought all the packages, so I was going to use them. <laughs> And I did. I put bling on all the cards, a ton of it, because it just, it was flat. This flat confetti is awesome and there's no holes in it. So it's super simple to just stick it all, just all over. I just, there's confetti falling all over these cards. I used all three. I used the gold, the turquoise ones and the peachy color ones and just adhered them. And it was fun and I loved it. And these were so much fun to make. If I, if it wasn't obvious with me just ranting this like and raving this whole 15 minutes or however long it's been. But yeah, these cards were a blast. I absolutely enjoyed making them. Um, let me know, you know, what's caught your eyes. I haven't even used those other stamp sets that you can just build characters with. I got sidetracked by all this die cutting. I was having so much fun. So like I said earlier in the video, I will have a link directly below the video to my blog post. In my blog post, I'll post the pictures. I'll have the supply list with picture links to absolutely everything. Um, all that info is always in the description box directly below the video. So you can check that out below if you were interested. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, thumbs upping, commenting, all of it. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.